Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen video. Well, today is not so much a review as a bit of a tip. And the topic is how to turn a disposable fountain pen into a cheap, reusable eyedropper fountain pen. Find out how to do that right now. <music> The Pilot Varsity, or the V-Pen here, is one of the most inexpensive fountain pens on the market. You can get a pack of seven Varsity pens in seven different colors for only $21.25. That's only three bucks a pen. And as the package says, the nibs are genuine steel, so don't be fooled by imitations. They're solid plastic, so don't settle for imitation. They're made of soft, injection-molded plastic and are really disposable but you can actually turn these into reusable eyedropper fountain pens easier than the platen preppy hack let me show you how i would recommend writing the pen dry of ink first but once you have the pen empty instead of sending it to the landfill make it reusable and please remember to practice safe fountain penning uh, wear prophylactic gloves we don't want any unwanted ink splatters running around all over the place so i've got my prophylactic gloves on i've got my pliers which might become handy in a moment and a little bit of rubber matting material or an elastic band helps as well to pull this nib you should be able to grip the nib with the rubber matting by the shoulders on both sides of that nib like this and the best advice is to put your knuckles together while you're gripping the nib and push on your knuckles and that nib might take a little bit should slide right off of that feed there's our steel nib and that will leave that feed there exposed now this is a little bit more challenging to get this out especially the first time and this is where your pliers come in handy uh, again these are cheap pens so if you break that feed just try it on a different pen out of your pack I'm gonna put the little gripping material on over that feed just to give it a little bit of a soft edge then I'm going to grab it by the sides of the feed so it's going to be like that and I'm going to try to um, leverage this out of there with a little bit of a twist so let's cover it up and there it goes actually that was a lot easier than I expected but there's the feed put that there and I'm going to dump this ink out then I'm going to syringe in some water and rinse that out so that it's clean. So once I've rinsed that clean, just use a Q-tip and dry it out on the inside. And you have an empty plastic tube. I'm going to go ahead and rinse the ink out of that feed as well. Now these feeds are designed to uh, channel a lot of ink, so it should take some soaking to get all of the ink out of there especially if you're going to change colors so and i'm changing from black to a pale color so i want to make sure that's rinsed properly and there we go that's fairly clear of ink I'll rinse my nib as well if you're not changing ink colors you don't need to go all of that uh, trouble of rinsing things out just pull that feed out pull the nib pull the feed out and then eyedropper in some more ink so one of the nice things about using one of these disposable pens as an eyedropper is you get to choose the ink that you want. And here I've chosen the Pelican Edelstein Ink of the Year Appetite as a nice vibrant emerald green. And you don't even need a syringe to do this, just an ordinary everyday eyedropper you can get from the drugstore. So we're gonna eyedropper up a little bit of ink and we're gonna put it in the barrel. This takes quite a bit of ink but you don't want to fill it up all the way. That would be bad. It would be bad. I'm fuzzy on the whole good, bad thing. What do you mean bad? Try to imagine all life as you know it stopping instantaneously and every molecule in your body exploding at the speed of light. All right, that's bad. Okay, all right, important safety tip. Thanks, Egon. So I'm just gonna fill it up to where the bottom of that feed would end up being. So that's just to about there. You can see there's a line there. Uh, that the, the bottom of that feed will rest right there. So if I filled it up more, I'm going to end up ejecting ink all over the place. That's not good. 
And uh, you've shattered the two vertebrae, because I can't really be certain without an x-ray, but uh, the, the bone protrusion through the skin, that, that's not a good sign. So all we have to do now is seat that feed down into the pen, and you just press on it until it clicks. And I'm going to use my pliers again, just to... There. So I just wrapped my rubber around there and put my pliers around that and just gave it a push until you get that positive click. Now we just have to grab our nib and slide it onto that feed and give it a push. There we go. Now I just got one of these little ink vial things. I'm just going to stand the pen in that little stand just for a couple of minutes until that ink starts to run down into that feed. You see it's already starting to do that with gravity. Give it a couple of minutes and we'll see if it writes. So it looks like my prophylactic had a hole in it. Oh God. I ended up with ink, an interesting color ink all over my fingers. But let's give the pen a try. This is the Pilot V-Pen. And they're about $3. And this is a medium steel nib, and the ink is Pelican Edelstein Appetite. I still don't know whether Appetite is something that you feel or whether it's actually a mineral or something like that. I don't know. But it's a lovely blue-green ink. And this pen can write now forever for three bucks. So this is also a way to inexpensively support a young person in your life who is new to fountain pens for writing, printing, drawing, or doodling. The nib is actually not too bad at all for three bucks. And now you can put any ink you want into the pen and it will last a good long time. So buy a pack of seven and get seven different colors. And there you have it, a quick and not that dirty tip for ink acquiring minds. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And please look in the description for a link to Goldspot Pens as I'm now an affiliate of the online store. And when you shop at Goldspot using my link, you'll be supporting my channel as well at no extra charge to you. And you can join as a member of my channel as well for only 99 cents a month. And I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comment section. You'll get cool badges, emojis, and sneak peek unboxing videos as well. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching and that's all she wrote I made this